Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special video with Jan Joost van Gangelen and we're going to work on the defense and the bandeja. I made this video for people that are making mistakes when they are at the back of the court because maybe they're not moving or they don't know where to move. It's about the blob and the chiquita. When do you play the chiquita? How do you play the chiquita? Uh, how do you play the lob? What kind of lob do you have to use? And where do you play the lob? And in that variation we're going to explain today how you can play with your opponent instead of playing against your opponent. You want to play with your opponent. And how you do that you will see in this video. I'm going to start right now. So you can see here that Jan Joost is playing too many forehands instead of backhands. If you are playing on the right side you should play more backhands than forehands because otherwise there is a lot of space in the corner. So in defense, you want to stay as close to the corner as possible because that's the most difficult part to defend. If you move out of the corner because you really want to play the forehand, there is a lot of space in the open corner. So try to avoid that. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have an issue with the audio. So we are explaining it like this today. Okay, so now we're training the Chiquita. We're going to try that Jan Joost takes the net. So he's waiting for a bad volley of mine and then he takes over the net. Yes, and Lingo. Oh. I, if I if I see the ball is coming near, it's like I know I'm going, and then I'm already there. Because if you hit the ball here, I might go there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also that's very difficult. Because if you lob me from there, I have no time to play a good smash. Because if I lob from here, and you are at the net, you have a lot of time to have a good smash. Uh, and if I lob from here, you have no time. So today we are really focusing on the height of the contact point and the height of the contact point basically decides what you should do with the ball. So now when the ball is low, uh, semi-low, so not super low, I asked Jan Joost to play the lob because this is a great ball to play the lob. This would not be an amazing ball to play Chiquita, for instance, because with the Chiquita, you would like to have the contact point a little bit higher to play more down. So we're going to do an exercise that he is going to adjust. High balls, high preparation, low balls, low preparation. And it's super important. The elbow is a reference. If you are defending low balls, your racket should be lower than the elbow. If you are preparing high balls, your racket should be higher than your elbow uh, because if the ball is high you can bring the ball more down and that could be with the bajada that could be with the chiquita and also for this video it's very important to explain that if you have a very high contact point you should play maybe the bajada like go fast and down but stay or you should play slow and low and then you go closer to the net so paddle, especially with the Chiquita, is a game of positioning. As long as you are further away from the net than your opponent, you don't want to play fast. So you want to play slow, 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 slow. 
If you are closer than that than your opponent, then you could accelerate if you still have control. Okay, so now we're going to focus on the lob. And I think it's important to understand you have two kinds of lob, like an offensive lob. It's more of a, like a, a low slice lob. The, the, that's something you can play in the corner, yeah. because that will never bounce up. And what I like a lot is the high lob, and that will be always to the back end of the player on the right. So what you have to do is to have like a pancake uh, preparation, very low, and then go all the way up. Yes. Yeah, it's like a long push all the way up. So we want to play more with the net player. So if the net player uh, has to move forwards because you play down all the time, your lob will be amazing. If you have a very good lob, your opponent will be here and then the ball on the feet would be amazing as well. Let your opponent move and see what happens. That will be my goal for you this week when you're playing. So the drill that we are doing now is low, low, high, high, or high, high, low, low, doesn't matter, but to, to see what you should do with the technique when the ball is low and to see what you should do when the ball is high. This is a very good drill that you should do or that your students should do uh, so they can understand to play down and when to play up because it's more about positioning and ball placement uh, than about technique sometimes. It is like a technical thing. So you can say some stuff about the preparation or anything, but it's more important that you understand the height of the ball. So why do you use the glass? You use the glass because you want to slow down the rally, but also you want the, the ball to be higher. If you don't use the glass, your ball, your contact point would be like on the floor. If you use the glass, your racket will be higher because the ball is bouncing up. So that's very important to understand because then you can attack and play with your opponent. So um, the forehand volley, is this and the bandeja is this and i think the difference is that everybody thinks it's an overhead so then it, it becomes this motion but if you can just prepare here and follow through over there you can play a very good bandeja so let's start like this and see how it goes yes. 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 with a forehand volley with the forehand volley, it's more like this. Yeah. And with the bandeja, it's more there. So very stable. But, I, but the level is the same as with the volley. Um, the height, I mean. Um, I think if you hit the ball slightly higher than your head, very far next to you and a little bit in front, yeah. this would be the one. But is the bandeja, is it a smash or is it a volley? It's an, uh, or is it the volley the smash? The technique is the volley, and, but it's an overhead. Okay, so now you can see that the bandejas are quite good. Jan Joost has control over uh, the speed of the ball, uh, but the ball's bouncing slightly too high. And that's because he's hitting the ball here. So this is a very common bandeja mistake, to hit it here instead of all the way there. So with the bandeja, you want to have a lot of distance from the ball. So now the exercise, and this is very good to do, is that you play the bandeja in the corner and you play the point. And if you are a coach, it is very good to demonstrate what is a good shot and what is not a good shot. So first ball is a bandeja, we play the point. If the ball is easy, you attack. If the ball is difficult, you play nice. And that's what I'm doing now. So uh, Jan Joost has a reference in if his ball is amazing or uh, super good. So you see now that Jan Joost was playing too fast um, and not uh, many balls to the middle of the court. If I'm defending, I'm quite comfortable when I'm defending the glass uh, in the corners. Uh, some players are comfortable to take everything before the glass. 
So I asked him to play more to the center of the court and slower to slow the game down. And you can clearly see now that he's winning more points. So now in this shot you can see that my contact point was extremely low because he was playing the bandeja way softer. If he would have played the bandeja faster my contact point would be higher. And also if he played faster it would be difficult to let it be low the ball. So this speed is amazing. So play this speed for everybody. Trying to impress them. Yeah. And now we also do some banejas from the left side. Uh, the contact point is different. Easy. So if you're playing on the right, your bandeja, you can hit the ball more in front of you because you play to the corner. If you play on the left, you want to hit it a little bit next to you because then you can carry the ball more forwards and because you have to hit there, you have to hit the ball more behind of a more next to you. If I hit the ball here, the ball will go there. So if I play on the left and I want to play to the player on the right, I hit the ball very far in front of me. If I want to play in that corner, I need to hit the ball more next to me. Let us know, let me know. Uh, subscribe, like, and see you next Monday. Hasta luego, ciao, adios.